What is going on guys? It's Joseph and I am back with another video today. I am going to be doing something slightly different today. Instead of reacting to a Mod 600 pound life video, I'm going to be reacting to a video from the show Mari. If you don't know what Mari is, it's essentially a show with the host Mari Povich where they do a DNA test and lie detector test and things of the sort and the reactions can be pretty funny from the audience and the people who are on the show. I just thought that I would change it up a little bit to keep the uh, content lively and dynamic so that we don't get kind of um, burn out on all the My 600 Pound Life content. I will still do that, but um, I'm going to try to mix in a bunch of different variety of stuff so that we can keep it lively and engage different kind of audiences. But before we do get going, I do just want to thank everybody who watched the last video. I'm actually astounded by how well it did. It did basically over 500 views. Um which is just way more than I was expecting. And I mean, if you can kind of see the trend here, it just keeps increasing. And I'm just so happy and so content with the direction this channel is going. And again, that is just a kudos to all of you who have liked, subscribed, even clicked on the video for 30 seconds or whatever it was to uh, contribute to the channel. But like I said, just keep the likes, the subscribes, the comments pouring in because I'm having a fantastic time with all of this and I hope you're having a great time watching the content. And with no further ado, today we're going to be reacting to a video called Four Children, Ten Men Tested. So I'm sure that's going to get pretty interesting. So let's just jump right into it. This is Marisol. And this will be Marisol's ninth time on our show. Now... Dude. In total, we have given 10 different men paternity tests for her four children. Now, seven of these men were proven not to be the father of her daughter, Shadiman, and her son, Joshua. Oh, that's a but tragedy, that name, Shadiman. And I do just want to comment, man. I mean, to fathom that it's been, what, 10 people? That means it's not 10 people over the course of a year or two years or even like six months. This is 10 people over the course of like... I don't, I don't know what the exact like, months would be, but probably, what, a couple months? Maybe a month? I don't know. That means that she was having sex with 10 people. That just blows me away. It must have been like a, like a gangbang of some sort. Luckily for Marisol, we found the father of her daughter, Eliza. Oh. So today, Marisol is searching for her youngest son, Davion's father. One man... One man named Angel has already been proven not to be the father, but today we're all hoping that a man named Efren is the father. Now, he kind of looks like Efren, him. Take a look at Marisol's incredible history on our show. And I do just want to say, man, that baby could be, it doesn't have to be Latino. That baby could have been anything. And that's the thing about babies is like all the moms come on the show is like, oh, this looks just like you've got your eyes. Like 90% of babies, whether they're white, black, Latino, whatever, they look the same to some extent. I mean, sometimes they do look like the father and they're spot on with it. But, man, I don't know, man. This woman's just desperate at this point. Four beautiful children, nine men given paternity tests. Oh, and, and they're all like Latino. So that's, I mean, this is like literally impossible. Woman whose one mission in life is to find the fathers of her children. The search for Shadiman's father has been the most painful. Five men, including a deceased man, have been given paternity tests for Shadiman. Oh. Manny, you are not the yeah. father. Lewis, you are not the oh. father. Jose, you are not the father. Tony, you are not the father. At what point does she stop getting upset? Like... And, and that's kind of unfair to these fellas, too, is that she's luring these men in there like you're the father. Like, I mean, I know they're probably not paying child support or anything like that, but that's still very unfair to them to even have that burden placed on them for a few days or a week or however long. She's probably just going out picking random people. She, she probably doesn't even know if she had sex with some of these dudes. Marisol put her search for Shadiman's father on hold to turn her focus to her son Joshua. She wasn't sure who his father was either. Two men, Ramon and Juan, were given paternity tests. Ramon, you are not. Yes, yes, yes. Juan, you are not. Oh, I'm outraged. I don't get it. How? Look, what the, what the fuck? How do you make sense? Child, Eliza. Her search for her father would end quickly when we gave a paternity test to a man named Philip. Philip, you are the father. 
Look at the sigh of relief. She has no idea. She literally had no idea. It was a sigh of relief right there. Davion, the paternity test left Marisol with more painful questions than answers. When it comes to Davion, Angel, you are not. You done goofed. You done goofed. Again. So today, Marisol is back with a man named Efren who she believes is the father of her son, Davion. Now, before we meet Efren, everybody, let's welcome back Marisol. Here's Marisol. See, and this is the thing that kind of bugs me about Mari, too. I love the show. I love the concept. And obviously, it's been on for decades now, probably. So it's, it's, it's a working formula. But it seems like the, the females are always turned into the hero, and the males are already turned into the, like the anti-hero. Um, the antagonist, whatever you want to call it, which I get that's the, the formula th that they're going for or whatever, but she has basically lured 10 men into a baby's life that is not theirs, like with basically no, no claims whatsoever than that we had sex at some point, and they're cheering her like she's some hero. Now watch when um, Duke gets called out, he's going to get booed, and it don't even make sense. Like, oh, she's so strong. No, she's not. Now he's low. Now they got him in a damn mug shot room and wasn't shit. The father. How did that leave you? It was alright, because he's not a nice guy anyways. I don't want a father like that for my son. Right. But now you have brought this fellow Efren, who you think completely differently of than a lot of the other guys. He's a sweetheart. Efren's... He's a sweetheart? Yes, he is. Really? Yes. You want him to be the father? I would love for him to be the father. Now, does he want to be the father? Yeah. I think so. Now, what was the story with you and Efren? I mean, tell me about your well, history. We dated a while ago, when I, like the wrong time I conceived. Mm -hmm. But I really thought that it was Angel's baby. Oh, by the way, that static that you kind of hear it intermittently, that's not from me. That's in the original video, because this video, you can tell by how old Mari is and how old he is, like in his video and how old he is in real life now. Oh, this was probably like at least 10 years ago. So that's probably just old like VHS shit or something like that. And I told him, no, Davian's not yours. Do you think if it shows that he's not the father, this would be even more painful because he wants to be there? Well, for me it is. But he told me regardless of anything, he's still going to be there for my son. Okay. Before this show, we talked to Efren. This is what he had to say. Watch this. My name is Efren. I am the 10th man to be tested for one of my soul's children. I respect my soul for continuing her search. I know this has to be really painful for her. I feel there's a huge possibility that I could be the father of my youngest child, Davian. I have such a connection to Davian that when I walk in the house, he calls me Dada and comes on to me. My also is a good friend, and I will help her with baby Davian, whether I'm the father or not. I care very deeply for this baby, and my heart tells me I am his daddy. Oh, what a Next good dude he is, He show. seems like such a good dude. So how are you? But she has no idea. Efren, you like... And actually, I was wrong about him getting booed, and the reason he didn't get booed is because he wasn't combative in, like, his little pre-interview or whatever. He was like, I'll help the kid. Like, she's a good person or whatever. So I was actually wrong, and I, I do stand mistaken on that. But, uh, but most of the time, they do get booed. You like him calling you Dada? Oh, I love it. Huh? <laughs> love it. And you did ask her at one point whether... She you were the father? Yes, I had asked her, and um, I asked her, am I the father? Is that my baby? And she had told me no. Do you and, see um, something in him that reminds you of yourself? Not really. I, I am <laughs> dark, but I'll tell you one thing. He has my personality. He does. Oh, yeah. come on. He's like, how old is he? He has his personality. That don't even make sense. He's like two or whatever. If he was like 16, you'd be like, yeah, you know, but... See, that's just one of them things. Really? <laughs> and so they're eating it up. If you are shown to be the father, what are you willing to do? Everything in my power. Really? You know what the You're going to be do. there. Of course. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to her before I read the results? Yeah. If he doesn't come out yours, I'm sorry. Really. Okay. Um, if he doesn't come out mine, I'm going to still be here for you. The baby, I'm going to still be there for him. Look, I love him to death. Aww. Okay. He's a good dude, though. He's a really good dude. Let's hope for the best.
When it comes to 11-month-old Davion, Efren, you are not the You hate to see it. Efren, don't leave. Just give me a minute. Oh, uh, that man. And see, and that, that's why she's the villain in this. Because that hurt his fucking feelings. You can tell that just killed him. And, like, that's why I hate... Like, she knew what she was doing when she had sex with all these dudes. Like, she knew there was a possibility of getting pregnant. Like, why... How come when the guy always does something like that, he's irresponsible, but the girl... The woman never has, like... You know, has to take be accountable for that sort of thing. Like, that... Nah. She's... She's a bitch. Where is it? Can I hold him, please? You still want to hold him? Of course. You want to be my baby, huh? That's my, that's that's mine, regardless, man. I don't care what the test says. You know, it doesn't really? have to be proven in the blood or nothing. He's okay. mine. Okay. All right. Here he is. There he is. Hey, David. Come on. How are you? Look at that. Look at that smile. Oh. Look at that smile. They do look alike, though, even though that's not the, the dad, of course. How are you? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. Marisol, you're very lucky to have this guy around. Terrific. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Efren. All right, thank you're you. good man. Thank you. Good to see you. Well, guys, it looks like that's about it. Unfortunately, it was he was not the father in that case, but it looks like... And hopefully, we this kid's probably... Because this was a long time ago. This kid is probably up in his teens, at least, I would say. So it would be nice to know if uh, he actually did follow through and take care of that kid. Because even if he's not blood, there's a lot of fathers out. You know, I have, I have plenty of friends that have fathers that aren't blood. Let's just say that. And uh, they're better than the biological father could ever be. So hopefully he did follow through on that. And that kid did grow up with a nice caring compassionate father which he seems like he was if you would like to see me do more of these mari uh reactions this was pretty fun and it was quick and it was easy i can definitely do more just leave a like a comment uh obviously the views the views are you know, that it's it's getting out there in the youtube sphere um but the likes and the comments too uh let me know that the uh content is relating to you personally uh, again, I appreciate every every watch, every like, and uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one, whatever it is.